What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Trading Wars. Thanks for joining me today. So today I will be looking at the top uh, option stock picks that I have for tomorrow. And we'll be doing a recap and just breaking everything down, making sure that you're educated and ready to go. So thanks for joining me here today. So why don't you, first of all, let me know where you're tuning in from tonight. Let me throw some names up on the board. Yes, I'm still battling this illness. So I will be coughing. That's the new part of my illness now. So please forgive me for that. So let me go on to Twitter here. Let's try to round up the troops so we can get into the war zone. Let's go live now. 100, let's do 199 plus for giveaways. I don't know how else to attract people for education. Come to learn how to trade stocks. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. All right, here we go. Okay, so what's going on, guys? So where are you guys tuning in from tonight? So we have Andy from Muskoka. What's going on, brother? Steve from Wisconsin. What's going on? Uh, let me know if the audio is okay, guys. Uh, Kyle from New York City. What's going on? We have Just Ed from Delaware. BP from SC. Um, William from Iowa. Alex from Washington State. What's going on, brother? Ali from Redmond. Penny from Vancouver. Freedom from Orlando. Ramon from WA State. Timothy from San Diego. What else do we got? Lorenzo from Los Angeles, baby. And one more. One more, guys. Boom. Friend Francisco from Scottsdale. All right. Beautiful. <clears throat> all right. So... First of all, let's look at the picks for tomorrow. So essentially, what I do on a daily basis is I scan for um, inside bars that have a potential to make a move the next day, right? So how do I know they have a potential to make a move? Well, based on the chart patterns, as well as based on my experience in trading these stocks for years, I know the ones that have likely have that ability to make big moves. So right off the bat, we have here SPY, that's one, Apple, Pfizer, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Moderna, Bank of America, SoFi, and DraftKings. So there is our lineup of picks for tomorrow. Um, all inside closes. Let's talk about a little bit about what that inside close means. So let's look at here at SPY. So let's look at Apple. Okay, let's look here at Apple. So what does the inside bar close mean? Well, the inside bar close means that we traded completely within the range of the previous candle. So we have a very tiny range compared to the previous day. And what it does, it's like, it's like building up energy because we haven't broke the high or the low. So there's bulls and bears stacking into the play. No one's in danger yet. And usually what happens after these inside bars, we have, uh, we have breakouts. We have continuation. You could see, we just look at these charts, right? Look at the last time we had inside bars, inside bars. You see, not all the time, but generally we get breakouts. So that's what we're looking for here on Apple tomorrow. Uh, the next thing. So what do you guys think is happening to the option premiums on Apple um, as we are getting this inside bar? What do you guys think is happening? So if we, if we had one full day of trading within a small range, we did not break the previous day's high or low, what do you guys think is going to happen to the option premiums? Yes, so they're going to be decaying, right? So this is also a method that I use to try to get options at a good deal, right? Try to get the option prices at a good deal. And matter of fact, I do have some swing trades set up in the SPY members room for SPY, but I'll talk about that in a bit. So yeah, so that's pretty much the whole concept. So what I like to call it is, I like to call it preconditions, okay? Because we need a reason to get into a trade. You can't just get into a trade because you, you feel like it or because you heard about it on the news. You want to have a reason. For me, I'm looking for a specific pattern. So whether it's an inside close, outside bar, holy grail, nirvana. So the patterns that I talked about yesterday on Sunday Stock Talk, I want those preconditions first in order for me to get into the trades because it gives me an edge over time because I know how to trade those type of patterns. So let's use Apple as an example. So going into tomorrow. So let's go down to the five minute chart. Let me get you guys set up with 
kind of what you what you should have on your chart, right? So you need to have the trading wars indicators, okay? They're for free. So just make sure you go right here. All right, you go to my homepage, just add these. Even if you don't use them actively, it'll help guide your trade. So you just come down here. Um, free trading wars golden indicators, okay? You could literally just add that to your chart for free. So let me, and then if you don't find it there, just go to any one of my other channels that focus on the specific bars and you can just get them here. Okay, so this one is probably a lot more cleaner. So the other thing that you wanna do is you wanna have the previous day's high. So let me just take that. Previous day's high, previous day's low, marked out, just for a reference, right? This will help you with the triggers as well. Okay, you want to have the high and the low marked. And what you want to do is you want to stack a fib, stack a Fibonacci from the low to the high like this. Okay. So how many of you, how many of you knew that you had to draw that in the intraday Fibonacci? How many of you guys knew that? And what we're going to do is we're going to take a line and we're going to put it right at the halfway point. We could put this in yellow. So now we could draw, we could get rid of the, the fibs. But the halfway point is a very important point on the chart. Okay, it's a very very important point on the chart because it's a it's it's the midway. It could result in the bulls and the bears losing control. All right, so we have these three levels. Now, how do we actually take the trades? So, how can we take the trades tomorrow on Apple? How can we take them? I'm going to show you guys some examples today of the picks from yesterday, but. So for those of you that have the book, the options drill down book, okay? What are the methods that we use in order to take the plays? Okay, what are the methods that we use? I'm gonna write it out here again. So opening range breakout, fractals, Fibonacci triggers. So these are the four things that we're gonna be looking for tomorrow. So quite simply, right? Like we could use, we could let the first five minute bar close and then we could take the opening range up, break out of that. With the orb, we can also do it. We can do it on the five, 15 or the three minute. Those are the ones I like to focus on. The fractals, that's where the indicators help you because it will highlight anything for you. So the fractals is like, if we find another inside bar set up here, we can take that. The Fibonacci, right? Um, we have the previous day's range, we have the extensions, and then we have the triggers. The triggers is probably the most simplest way. If it breaks the level short, breaks the level, go, go long. So that one's pretty simple. So that's what we're trying to do. We're looking at the daily chart here, and we have the thesis that with this inside bar close, that we could break out of the range. We don't have to, but there's a good chance. So that's the whole point of doing that, right? So hit me with a two if you're following me so far. So I already did the scan and I picked the ones that I are, I'm familiar with, with my experience in trading, the ones that I've traded in the past that tend to move. They don't have to by any means, but we want to take the ones that give us the best shot, right? So now let's go ahead and review what we had today. All right. So the first one is JPM. I'm going to hit the replay right here. You guys can see we had that inside bar close. I'm going to go down to the five. Okay. So we had that inside bar close for JPM. So now we're looking for our entries. Let's see what we get. Where is it? All right. So first five minutes is right there. Okay. So we could take the opening range breakout right off the bat, right? So here we go. Here's the first five. Take the opening range breakout. You could see it breaks the high right there. All right. Boom. Beautiful. That's clean. That's clean. Okay. So that's your opening range breakout, breaks the trigger, bam, targets achieved. Man, hit me with hit me with a three if you guys like that. I like that, man. I didn't even I didn't even realize that that opening range breakout was that powerful, but I love it. Okay. So now let's take a look at the daily chart. So this right here, you can see, remember what we're trying to do. We're trying to see if the inside bar it can break the range and it did because if you look closely here on the five it broke the high 
Okay, beautiful. See that? Now I'm gonna show you guys something that I do for my members. So for my members every single day, I post sample trading plans that they can use, okay? So I'm gonna give you the trading plan for J JP Morgan. So the it was 169.82 by 169.07. So guys, I do a lot for my members. I really try a lot. I have a lot of setups that I do. So you know, if you guys need a trading plan or you need some help, definitely check us out. And uh, my mods do a great job also. So I just want to show you guys. So 169.82. So I'm going to show you guys like you could do this through automation. Okay. So 169.82. The stop is 169.07, right? And the target is, so I always, I always do these the night before. For those of you that are interested in automated trading and you want to put it in and set and forget it, you could definitely do that, all right? So there we go. So this is the... This is the plan. So the yellow line is the entry long and the yellow line is the uh, entry to exit the position. Now check this out. I'm just gonna fast forward here, but look at that, okay? Do you see guys? I have, I know a lot of things about trading, but I can't, I can't talk about them all the time anymore because I get a lot of copycats and I get a lot of imposters that then go and try to scam my followers. So I can't talk about everything here, but just check this out guys. As soon as we come and we break through, we hit that target. Look at this reversal. You see that? Very, very powerful. So see my brother here, Ernesto, said he's got the automation down. That's great, brother. All right, so that's that's pretty much like JPM, opening range breakout, trigger, boom. We had some fractals here, this inside bar. Didn't really give much. This one, didn't really, this one was a nice scalp. This one, just a little push, nothing much. So... That's why I like looking at the opportunities right off the open. We had those triggers or call it a day. All right. So there we go. Right. And all these methods, guys, I talk about in my book. So if you want to support me, guys, and you want to get one month for free in the rooms, grab a copy of the book. I think it's a really good deal. I really do. All right. So here we go. I'm going to show you guys something too. Okay. So... Get a, get a pen and a pad out real quick. Get the pen and the pad out. So this is why I teach you guys about the previous day's range. Okay? So you could see right here, guys, this 272 extension is a very important level. We take the previous day's range. We stack the Fibonacci. We extend it using the 272. You can see right here it was a beautiful reversal. Both books are amazing. Thank you, brother. Yeah, so there we go, guys. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna share something. I don't. Let me see if I'm allowed to share this. One second. So what I'm gonna share here with you guys. I'm just gonna take a. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this real quick. Just wanna show you guys like. I put in the work, guys. I put in the work. I'm not here to play games. So let me move this over here. So this is a sample right here. Um, this is a sample right here, guys, of all the testing that I'm doing and all the details that I'm doing here with the Fibonacci extensions and the different picks. And this is just for October. And you could see that it was very, very profitable here, right? So I think it was about 70% win rate. And I have different ways that I that I adjust it based on the market. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So that's JPM. Let's move on. Wells Fargo. So Wells Fargo is kind of similar. Um, same thing, opening range breakout right off the bat. There was a trigger that did not get triggered to the downside. But after that, outside after that um, opening range breakout here, there was no fractals until here and here. This uh, Nirvana, so the anytime that it is highlighted in blue, this is a Nirvana pattern. This is one of my special patterns. So you could see off of this Nirvana, we had a huge push down. If I stack a Fibonacci from the high to the low of the first part of the day, we could see right here we tagged the six one eight, 
came a little bit in deeper and then pushed back. If I flip this fib and use the reversal, right? This is what I call the opposing leg from my book, right? We can see this one. This was beautiful. So when you have the Fibonacci lined up with the pattern, it makes it very powerful. So you can see right here, this short was very powerful because it was the, this is what we call the opposing leg. We have this push down and the pullback right on the 618, guys, like almost to the penny. Let me check this out. I wonder if it, if it is to the penny, I'm going to have to end the stream because that's dangerous. Okay. All right. So I have, let me just see. So the 618 is what? What is it? Can't really see it. 5114. What is the high of this candle? 5114. Let's pause and reflect on that for a second. One of these days, man. One of these days, I'm not, I'm just gonna have to turn the stream off, man. Too many secrets, guys. Look at this. Check this out. Six one eight to the penny. Fifty one fourteen. Look at the high of this Nirvana. Fifty one fourteen to the penny. And from there, guys, algorithm steps in. Bam. And then check this out. Hold on a second. What's the low of this? Fifty sixty six is the low of this, these bars, and you also have an inside bar right here, right on the 0 0.169, perfectly, 5066, guys. If this does not convince you about algorithm trading Fibonacci, I don't know what will. Like, it's, it's almost impossible to get this type of accuracy. It's almost impossible. Only way you can get this accuracy if it's algorithms. It's not me, it's not you, it's not your grandmother that's moving the market. It's not. It's robots. Learn to trade like an algorithm, guys. That's why I wrote the book. That's why I wrote this book on FIBS right there. That's exactly why. This is what inspired me to trade all of this. Anyways, right? So just remember, this is how we normally see with the FIBS, right? Let me just, you, you can get the pen and the pad out again if you want. But normally we have the morning leg, okay? And then the, the morning leg is going to line up with the opposing leg. There's always going to be an opposing, and there's going to be an afternoon. Always. These three are always going to happen. The morning leg is the first pullback. It, might, it usually takes between 30 minutes to an hour. You have a push either vertically, so either up or down. And then from that, you start to pull back. So the first part of, the, of that is going to take it from the low to the high in this case, right? Because you could see we went up. So now this is the normal morning leg. So the morning leg, the normal one here, the push up, pull back down. But anytime you have the morning leg, you will also have the opposing leg. And the opposing leg is very profitable as well, okay? So these are all great trading opportunities. They don't have to work all the time, but look at these. When they work, you can catch things to the penny sometimes. And if you catch it to the penny, then you have an amazing opportunity to make some profits. All right. The opposing leg is always going to be the opposite of the morning leg. So now that pullback right there, okay, the pullback of the morning leg right there, you're going to take it from the high to the low now and do the flip. Okay. And then the last thing will always be the afternoon leg, which is completely taking the range of the day. So that's the high and the low. You can see right here around the 786 which lined up with the extension here is where we pop. All right. So pen, I'm going to go through these ones quickly here. Cause I gotta, I gotta leave. Um, we had right off the bat, Holy grail, a lot of chop and pen opening range break, nothing worked right off the bat, but you could see we start, we hit the trigger, uh, which was right around here, this blue line. The trigger came in. Once that trigger got filled right there, guys, boom, beautiful flush down. So fractals, orbs, everything it was really tough on pen out off at the open, right? But once you get that trigger and it hits, keep your stop in a safe place, good to go, okay? How to draw in real time? Watch my videos. Watch my videos on YouTube. Um, and then the last one, Morgan Stanley, very similar to JP Morgan. We had the break right here, opening range breakout, fractals, not so much heat. Okay. We had, let's look at the morning leg Fibonacci together. 
and the opposing. Let's do that together. So we go right here, boom, high to low, 50% retracement. You see that? Okay, with the inside bar, nice pop. And then let's draw the opposing. The opposing to, the opposing today was where the money was at. Look, you could see here, push down, pull to the 618, boom. Got a lot of inside bars there too. So I would say that JPM was definitely the easiest. Well, Fargo was great too. Penn was difficult besides the trigger. Morgan Stanley was, was fair. Um, not the like easiest of days for sure. Um, so hit me with a hit me and not, yeah, exactly. I was going to say that. So now Morgan Stanley closing with a very rare double inside bar. So keep your eyes on that. That's going to be a very important pick going in tomorrow, that double IB close. So that's, this is how a double IB looks. So you have a big range, a smaller range, and then an even smaller. So you can imagine the option premiums getting destroyed. Let me go to spy real quick. I just want to give you guys an update on what we did today. So right off the bat, guys, with SPY, we had two trades this morning. We had this Holy Grail that went for a winner, this one also. So we had double Holy Grails, which is very rare. You don't really see that. And then if we just take the morning leg Fibonacci on the FIB, you can see right there, here was the 618 with an outside bar confirmation. So we had a great, um, great, great day on SPY in the room. Let me just show you guys right here so you see it. SPY members lounge is here. And then the setups alerts are here so this is it so every morning you'll see uh i'm in here with my mods and then we talk about the setups etc etc okay i also have a swing trade ready to go if you're interested you want to sign up for anything that i do guys i do recommend getting a one of the books either the fibs or the drill down so you get one month for free in any one of the rooms of your choice or you could just sign up for the rooms right here this is the stock room all the results are here for the stocks for the swings and then here's spy all right um, but yeah, so SPY was pretty clean. Um, definitely closing with an inside day, but we still made money on an inside day, which is good. And now we have this inside bar setup going into tomorrow. Um, but yeah, otherwise than that, hit me with a five if everything makes sense. And I uh, think we are good. Said DD, thanks, bro. Just bought the fit book. Amazing, bro. Just make sure now. Just fill out that form so I can get you access today, all right? So let me just show you. Thanks for that, bro. I appreciate it. So just go here. Make sure you fill out this form right here, Trading Wars VIP sign up, okay? And then I'll get you in right away. All right, there we go. I mean, the goal is to try to keep trading as simple as possible. Don't need to complicate anything. Um, yeah, so with PayPal, I see someone asking PayPal. It is what it is, a lot of earnings. I don't really have an opinion right now because it's all news driven. So we'll see. We'll see how the week closes. I think the week, the way that the weekly bar closes will be very important. So we'll see going into next week. Otherwise than that, thanks for your time. I appreciate you guys. A lot of picks for tomorrow's. Uh, what I recommend, guys, is do the 100 trade challenge. The 100 trade challenge, focus on one type of setup. So it could be the morning Fibonacci leg. Or it could be the opposing leg, or it could be the opening range break, or it could be the fractal, it could be the trigger. Just focus on one of those while you're a new trader. Hit 100 of those, get your experience, track your results, and see which ones you like. You don't have to risk a lot of money. You could do paper trading, you could do whatever you want. All right, just get those time under your belt, and you'll be surprised of how far you'll come in your trading journey. Last thing I wanna say is I wanna have a set time where I uh, do these streams so if you don't mind once i leave here and i end the broadcast let me know what time eastern time works the best for you guys so i think eight o'clock might be a little bit too early for the west coast people so maybe nine o'clock eastern but I, I feel free to post in the comments i'll take a scan through them i want to have a set time every day so you guys know what to expect from me and uh, that we can keep spreading the education and the knowledge all right well, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, please comment when we're done and have a good night. Thank you.